Here's an assignment for you. Get your Bible, open up to Psalm 146, and read that and the last other four Psalms, 146 through 150. What do you see at the beginning and to the end of each of these closing five Psalms of the book of Psalms? You see, hallelujah. The beginning and the end of 146, the beginning and the end of 147, beginning and end all the way to 150. What a perfect way to close out the 150 Psalms with this resounding, repeated, hallelujah. It's really two words in Hebrew. Hallelujah, which means to praise, and then Yah, which is a shortened form of the divine name Yahweh. I love the fact that we're not just simply praising a nameless, generic power in the sky. We are praising Yah, Yahweh, the very God who revealed himself to Moses at the burning bush, the very God who tells us repeatedly throughout the Old Testament that he's good and gracious and compassionate and slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. That's the God that we are praising every time that we pray Psalm 146 through 150. In fact, any time that we sing hallelujah. We're also praising the God who in the fullness of time sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption as sons. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.